Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. Uh, I think he only made an appearance in one movie. So uh, he's got like the opening fan, which is completely not scientifically accurate at all. <laughs> but I think it looks cool. So that's what we're going to do. We draw like the face and that fan as well. Okay, let's get started, alright? I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pull up over here for the front of the face here. Top of the snout. I'm gonna pull a thinner line over here for the bottom. And I'm gonna find the brow right here. The brow, obviously, meaning the top of the eyebrow, or like where the eyebrow would be. <laughs> gonna go over here, kinda the angry phase, and go up. And the bottom of the brow. Obviously, we're drawing the top of the eye right here. I love Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. I'm a dinosaur nut. I haven't, I haven't played a video game yet. It's been sitting there for like a year. I need to play it. It's a Jurassic World. They're, they're going to have a second one, so I have to play it soon. Curve over here. Curve over here for the edges of the eye. And I'm going to pull back here. Going to be a slit pupil. So the story with a slit pupil is they always look cooler with a slit pupil, but the, how big, I think with how big that Dilophosaurus was, he wouldn't have that in real life. Um, slit pupils are for animals that are very short and close to the ground, like little cats or little, or snakes, um, because you can see up and down, like I guess with your vision, you, you look up and down. So when you're larger, you tend to just have like a round eyeball, like all the big cats have, or if you look at bigger animals. Um, they just kind of evolved that way, so anywho, they think that there's no way they would have had that, but you never know. Pulling out over here. Down over here in the front. Something they didn't put into the... I don't think they put this into the movie, but he's got this, like, cleft here. I don't know why some of them had that. If you look at, like, Spinosaurus or something like that, they have this weird kind of cleft in their, their uh, bone structure in their skull. Line over here to the smile. And I'm going to go over here and find teeth, which are really just kind of triangle shapes, you know? And they're going to fold in there into the cleft area. <sighs> I love dinosaurs. I'm going to draw way more of them. Uh, I have some versions of them, but there's, you know, I'll draw the bodies to some. And uh, I'm going to draw way more. If you have any requests, let me know. Draw the bag and the eye. Um, do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button. I post every single day of the week. Well, sorry, of the weekday. So every weekday, I post three tutorial videos on different topics. Anywhere from dinosaurs to Godzilla to video games to all this stuff. And I put them all in playlists. So the playlist section is packed. Go check that out. I'll probably put some in the description as well. Let's go over here to the nostril. But hit the subscribe button. Nobody really subscribes. You know, they just kind of refine me over and over again. So hit the subscribe button right now. Make this the video you do that. Um, and it'll give you kind of the idea of not just when I post, but what I post. Because you'll just see it on your feed. That's the idea. You just see it on your feed. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. I'll draw that that day. So the nostril right there. Curve around here on this side. Let's go to the front. If we're going to draw that crest. He has a crest sitting right on his head here. Over here. Up. Over here. Line. Line. The crest itself has like thin lines in it. To... It's going to show the flatness of it. Over here on this side. Over here. And I'm going to... Darken that out. Over here, over here, the back of the neck. Not quite yet though, we're gonna still finish those teeth. I forgot about that, I was yapping. Curve line down, because there's some skin uh, inside when they open their mouth. I still don't know what that's called. Somebody told me it, and it sounded really hard to say. I'm not sure what it is. Line, line, line. There's some 
lines in that skin area, pulling down for that lower jaw. Curve in here, pull back, up. Back of the neck, pull down. And I forgot that I'm gonna be putting the uh, the um, the fan on the side of his face. I completely forgot that. But let's put it in now. So the crest is gonna come out from here. We're gonna draw it through that, but it'll, it'll work over here. Over here on the far end. And over here on the far end, it seems to have like kind of a an open area on the bottom and the top. Okay, we'll do that in a second. Let's go back to the teeth first. I actually did do it in another Dilophosaurus, but a more scientifically accurate one. You can find that on the page or the dinosaur playlist, which I will link below. So those are teeth in the back to give it some sort of a uh, depth. And I'm going to fill this in with dark. Even if you have this with a pencil, you can easily just kind of shade that in. Or if you don't, if you're like time sensitive, you can just do what comic book artists do and they put like an X, meaning later on they'll get back to it and fill it in dark. All right. Right on. Line over here for the bottom of that neck a little bit. Because it's going to come in the way of that. And I'm going to fill that in to kind of give that little shadow beneath there. All right, let's go over here and do the far side of the fan. It's going to curve over here a little bit. So let's just go out here. Zigzag that in and then pretend like... We're going to catch it over here. Zigzag over here. So that's going to curve around the edge, actually. It's going to go out the edge, which is fine. But it's going to cover up some of my lines there, so I have to kind of be prepared for that. And... It's going to wrap around this area right here. So that, that that's a problem. I'm going to have to put it through these lines right here. So right here, right here, right here. Shouldn't have drawn in that neck, but you know what? It's salvageable easily, so forgive me if that happened. Right over here, and we're just going to pull these lines. Same thing over here. Pull these lines out on this fan. Alrighty. And we're going to go down here. And then we're going to kind of vignette it out, meaning it's just going to kind of vignette and slowly travel out. Keep doing the lines over here. Kind of making them darker so that they are becoming more prominent in that area there, so it doesn't fully get mixed up. There we go. And it kind of sometimes has a see-through quality, which I guess is coming out right now. I mean, they're not like that in the movie, but uh, they can absolutely be that way. Anyways, that is it. I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, you guys are amazing. The one thing I want you to do, lastly, is to curve these lines right here. Well, first thing is you can draw, like, 
this kind of curved shape for in the snout, but these little curved, tiny curved shapes to make it uh, the scale, make it look like scales. Kind of make that happen. And I give that the scaly, the scaly look. Same thing over here in the body. I want to thank you very much. Uh, reach out to me if you have any requests for any dinosaurs or anything of that sort. I will talk to you in the next video. See you soon. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here how to draw a dragon head I have anime I have cartoons there's categories for everything and everything is for beginners um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it this is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons so you can go through the entire site see everybody else's lessons and normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month um, because you're watching this video right now if you're still watching right now you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days that's a lot um, but just you what you have to do is go over here to the video go down first link in the description the very very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days um, you just go over here you click this thing boom and then you sign up um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent. And you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later. And uh, hopefully I'll, see, I'll catch you over there later. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, over here on the right, you're going to see my most recent upload. And on the top corner over here, you're going to see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome, and I'll see you next time.